My name is Breck Units, and I am a software engineer at Our World and Data. Our World and Data is a website that you can visit at ourworldanddata.org, and it's also a small group of about 15 or so very committed people who want to help the world make progress on its largest problems by putting together great data and research. So I'm going to show some, um, some of the new stuff that we're doing behind the scenes in the new version that we'll, we'll be launching soon. And, but first, um, I ask you to check out the site, browse around it, and um, in particular, some of you may have seen this Coronavirus Data Explorer, which is a somewhat advanced tool for exploring the data um, during this pandemic across the world. You can kind of see how you can do quite a lot. I'm going to show you the technology that powers the new version of this and that will also power some other things. So it's a little bit different than anything you've seen before. Um, so let's take a quick look. All right, so let's just talk about who our users are. So our readers are the public or policymakers, really a huge researchers, a huge group of people. But then the people who author our content have this admin interface where they can create you know, blog posts, charts, so on and so forth. So our current chart maker, the current way an author creates a chart is to kind of use a traditional form style builder. That, that works, but it wasn't quite scaling to what we wanted to do. So the new version is something pretty different. It's a spreadsheet-like IDE for building these types of exploratory data analysis tools. So. Um, it kind of uses a lot of new technology. I'm just going to try and show, let's just do a simple new one um, to kind of demonstrate some of the big ideas. So as you can see, here's a blank sheet and here's a preview on the right, a picture in picture preview of what we're building here. I'm going to go ahead and click this and then I'm going to say, make a title, explore a title. And I can say, oh, here's an example, life expectancy data explorer, blah, blah, blah. I actually am just going to go ahead and even simpler than that, I'm just going to start with a template. So I'm going to click template. And now you can see that this information is filled in. So what we're looking at something kind of new. It's not a spreadsheet. It's not a programming language. It's a, it's a, a, a hybrid. So um, it is editable like a spreadsheet. You can kind of do all the things that any Power Excel user would expect to do. Um, but it's also like a programming language. You've got autocomplete in here. You know, if I make a mistake, um, I'll get syntax highlighting. And you can see the little check, I get type checking. You can see that sometimes, depending on what you type, you get other uh, formatting, quote unquote, secondary notations, like the underline here for this style of structure. Um, so it's really a, a powerful program language. It uses something under the hood called tree notation. Um, but basically the idea is um, you can build programming languages that actually are two-dimensional and that, that they don't look like the current programming languages we're, we're used to using. So um, let me just kind of do that one more time. Um, so here is a one of those explorers like this coronavirus one except I'm going to go in here and let me just change some data so you can kind of see that I'm going to change the raw data that's powering this chart here and you can see how it will, it will change on the right but I can also change things like instead of making it a bar chart I can make it a line chart um, you know or a stacked area you know certain options will work better for others depending on the data so nothing really new in terms of, okay, yeah, it's a chart builder. Um, and we still have the, your typical user experience where the user has much simpler, you know, point and click type of control. But this thing scales pretty nicely. So if I go now over to um, that coronavirus data explorer that we saw, we can see how... I mean, this thing has tons of features. You know, you can, you can, we have hundreds of views that people have needed to, you know, look at everything from vaccination data to death rate and, and biweekly changes and um, what have you. It's, it's, it's a 
very powerful tool used by a lot of policymakers throughout the world, and so we've really um, added lots of features to it over time. So it used to be 3,500 lines of code in pure TypeScript that the software team had to maintain by hand, but now we can do it all as a spreadsheet, and so the researchers can go in here and add new options and um, create new transformations and so, so on and so forth. And you know, as, as they make changes, they can see the live preview and so on and so forth. So anyway, I know that wasn't really clear. I didn't really have a script here, but um, I just kind of wanted to show that, hey, there's this brand new thing you can do, which is uh, which merges the power of programming languages with the power of spreadsheets. And um, under the hood uses this thing called tree notation, and I'm happy to talk more about how that works, but I'm just going to put this out there for now and um, talk later.